All right, we're going to do this problem from homework. And it says to find the vertex, um, the focus, and the directrix of the parabola, and sketch its graph. The first thing you'll notice, um, you should probably be asking yourself, is which way is this parabola facing? Is it up or down, or left and right? And so you hopefully you said up and down. And now I'm going to ask, all right, which one is it, up or down? And it's up because look at this one half right here, and the whole equation is, is really positive. So in my head, the parabola better look something like this. Maybe not as ugly, but oh well. Um, so um, then I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's more like this equation and not this one. This is the equation that I just crossed out is left and right. And so now we're going to play matching. And the way matching goes is if we look at who matches with who. So, um, see how x squared here is with the one-half, and here x squared is not, and I want to get rid of that one-half. So, I'm going to um, try to get rid of that. So, go ahead and think about how we're going to get rid of that. And hopefully you said we're going to multiply by 2, because multiplying by 2 is the inverse of multiplying one-half, meaning it undoes it. So, our equation is 2y equals to x squared. So now we're going to play matching. So matching to me means that we are um, we're going to say since x squared matches with x squared and y matches with y, right? That implies that 2 has to equal to 4p, which is the important part because from our p we get all kinds of things like, you know, where our directrix is because at this point, we should already know where our vertex is. Um, so that implies that 4p equals to 2, implying that p equals to 1 half. Just divide both sides by 4 right here. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. And then so, okay, so our vertex, because there's no h here or k with the y, it's going to be at 0, 0. So here he is at zero, zero. And we already said he's facing up, so he's going to look something, you know, like this. And then here's our piece of cereal, right? Because we talk about our bowls and the bowl. And the parabola is the bowl and the cereal is the focus, right? And so I don't know what happened to that mark right there, but we erase him. And then... Um, so they, uh, somehow this drawing is going to happen. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to graph it perfectly. I'm just trying to get some kind of idea because that's exactly what you guys are doing on on uh, what I'm looking for on your test. So there's your focus. We'll label him with our focus. And there's your vertex. We'll label it with a V for vertex. And then down here we're going to have our our table, which is our directrix. And our directrix is is exactly as far as the focus is from the vertex. So this P right here represents our distance. Right? And it's our distance from our vertex to our P. Put little arrows there. And then our vertex to our directrix. Okay. Um, so, since that's a half, we're going to go down a half, and there he is right there. And he's a dotted line because he's not really part of the graph. So our vertex is at zero, zero, so we can write that up here. It's zero, comma, zero. Our focus is at zero, comma, one half. Notice that P right there, and the P goes from here to here, right? Zero to one half is that one half right there. And our directrix is going to be Y equals to negative one half. And notice it's y equals because look how the line is going across. And there we sketched it. And so there's your directrix. Things to remember. Um, make sure your cereal is in your bowl. And your bowl is sitting on your table. Right? Cereal's focus. Your bowl is your parabola. And your directrix. Alright, I hope you guys understood. Now try to do it on your own.